morning grade 10. So here we will be discussing about the Hamilton's Law or also known as the Gay-Lussac's Law. So in some other textbook, they are using the Gay-Lussac's Law and uh, in our textbooks, we are using the Hamilton's Law. So here, at a constant volume, so always remember that in the Hamilton's Law, the constant is volume. There is a direct relationship between the temperature and the volume. So meaning to say, if the temperature increases, then therefore the pressure also increases. And vice versa, if the temperature decreases, also the, te uh, the pressure would also decreases. So the formula that we will be using in the amount of stock is this one. So P sub 1 over T sub 1 is equal to P sub 2 over T sub 2. So in order for us to simplify this one, so we will be using another formula. So we will convert this one into much simpler one. So in order for us to derive as some other formulas. So first of all, we will be having this one. Instead of using this one, we will use this new formula. Now, why is this? It's instead of using this one. So by using this one, um, we can derive in an easier way. So let's say for example, we are going to find out or we are um, trying to get the value of t sub 1. So in order for us to get the value of t sub 1, we will be just dividing both sides by p sub 2. And therefore, this is our formula for t sub 1. And so on. Here, always remember that the temperature should always be in degree Kelvin. And in our last topic uh, about the unit conversion for the temperature, so we have discussed how we can convert Celsius, degree Celsius into degree Kelvin, degree Fahrenheit, or degree Celsius into degree Fahrenheit, degree Fahrenheit into degree Celsius, and degree Celsius into degree Kelvin. So the kappa equal equal na po siya. So we can manage to convert them. But now let us have an example. Let's say for example, we have example number one. A sample of gas has a pressure of 100 torr at 27 degrees Celsius. Calculate the pressure if the temperature is changed to 127 degrees Celsius while the volume remains constant. Express your answer in ATM or atmosphere. So first of all, let us analyze the question. So it is said that uh, our given are in degrees Celsius. So upon um, saying this thing, we should uh, probably convert this one into degree Kelvin. Why? So our rule is the temperature should always be in degree Kelvin. So first, let us write our given. For our initial temperature, for T sub 1, we have 27 degrees Celsius. For our final temperature, we have 127 degrees Celsius. Next, we have 100.0 torr for our pressure. So what's missing is the final pressure. However, we cannot use this um, given because first of all, we need to express our answer in ATM or atmosphere. So first, we need to convert torr into atmosphere. So how do we do this one? So we will just be dividing this one into 760. So cancel, cancel, and we will have about one point. Or sorry, that is zero point thirteen atm. So this will be our new event for the pressure. And as for the temperature, so we cannot use this. We cannot use this given.
given because it is in degree Celsius. We need to convert this one into degree Kelvin. First, in order for us to convert degree Celsius into degree Kelvin, let us go back in here. So we are just going to add 273 for the volume of the degree Celsius. So here we will just go into add 273. 273 plus 27 is 300 degree Kelvin. Same goes with this one. So just add 273, you will get 400 degree Kelvin. Now we are set. And with that, we can now use our formula for this one. So in order for us to find out the formula that we will be using, we must derive our formula from this one. So we have our formula is P sub 1 times T sub 2 is equal to T sub 2 times T sub 1. So we are going to find out the value of the final pressure. So in order for us to get our formula, just divide both sides by, we need to remove T sub 1 from this uh, part of the equation or side of the equation in order for us to get the value of P sub 2. So in order for us to remove this thing, divide both sides by T sub 1. And now our formula would be like this one. So we have, now we have our formula. Let us now move on with the translation. We have P sub 1, we have 0 0.13 atm. T sub 2, we have 400 degree Kelvin. Over our T sub 1 is 300 degree Kelvin. So, constant degree Kelvin and multiply 400 times 0 0.13 so we don't have our calculator so we will um, solve this one manually so we have 400 times 0 0.13 so we have 12 and we have 400 and two decimal places that would be 52 over 300. And now, 52 divided by 300. So we have 1. So our final answer would be zero point seventeen.
So we can observe, according to the concept of T. Amodon's law, the relationship between the temperature and the pressure is directly proportional and therefore if the temperature increases, the pressure should also increase. So in this case, T sub 1 is 300 degree Kelvin. It is increased by 100 or it become 400 degree Kelvin. So therefore, from 0 0.13 atm, we should have an increased value for our pressure as for the final pressure. So that is all for our Amonton's law or the Gay-Lussac's law.